was Peter Strzok involved in coming up with the conclusion that the FBI reached about Russia, whatever involvement they had when they issued a report after the election? Uh, that's a question that goes right to the heart of the special counsel investigation, and I, I don't think it would be appropriate for me to speculate or comment on that. FBI Director Christopher Wray answering, or perhaps not answering, questions from the House Judiciary Committee today about Peter Strzok, the lead agent on the special counsel's team, who was removed last July after Robert Mueller learned he had sent anti-Trump texts. Let's bring in our panel, Fox News Senior Judicial La Analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano, Molly Hemingway from The Federalist and Catherine Lucy, White House reporter for the Associated Press. Well, Judge, what do you make of James Rosen's story that led the show about uh, a top Justice Department official meeting with people involved in Fusion GPS and the so-called Russia dossier? And did we learn anything from Director Ray's testimony today about alleged irregularities in the investigations both of Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. I'll take the easier one first, Chris, which is the second question. The short answer is no. We didn't learn anything from uh, Director Ray. They didn't follow up with aggressive questions. He uh, hid behind the, oh, this is being investigated by the Inspector General, and I can't really uh, comment on it. But as for James uh, Rosen's report, uh, this is a profound story. It is one thing for an FBI agent to dislike or even detest the target. You know, they're pursuing mobsters. They hate the mob. They're pursuing terrorists in Times Square. They're not morally ambivalent about terrorists. It's quite another thing for a senior person in the Justice Department to have secret relationships with one of the uh, instruments used in the, in the political campaign. Quite frankly, I'd never heard of this uh, gentleman before. Uh, but even I, who's a bit jaded when it comes to this thing, am scandalized by it. You know, when uh, General Flynn pleaded guilty on uh, Friday last week, he pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI, not lying to Mother Teresa. I mean, you don't expect FBI agents to be saints. They are tough people. They have political opinions like the rest of us. But you also don't expect their bosses in the Justice Department, like the number four person there, to have some sort of political or perhaps even financial relationship with one of the candidates for president or an instrument that her campaign used. I, I want, to go, back to, I want to go back right. to the other point, though, because a lot of the focus today was on this FBI agent, Peter Strzok, yes. who was removed from the campaign in July after Robert Mueller, or removed from the investigation in July after Robert Mueller found out that he had sent anti-Trump texts. You're not troubled by that particularly? No, I am not troubled uh, by that, because I think that, first of all, the statute says that they can have political opinions. The statute says that FBI agents can express political opinions. And quite frankly, this may come as a scandal to a lot of people watching us. Often FBI agents and police really, really dislike the people they're investigating and prosecuting. That's not unusual. But the Rosen story is very troublesome. I hope it's not the tip of an iceberg. If it is, the president's going to be talking to Jeff Sessions about this. This is his Justice Department. These things are happening under his nose. Well, Jim Jordan had a good point, though, about those text messages saying, you know, it isn't that uncommon for people to have political opinions, even if they're FBI agents. That he was removed for them suggests that, in fact, this was something completely apart from normal political rhetoric. But what was interesting about this hearing is so many of the representatives were trying to dig down into what the actual FBI involvement with the Steele dossier was. And they asked all sorts of lines of questions, like, was the dossier actually used as an impetus to start the investigation into Russia? You know, were people being paid that were affiliated with the dossier. Was the dossier used to secure a FISA warrant against a Trump affiliate? In each case, Ray declined to answer, citing the ongoing special counsel investigation. But the question is whether the actual special counsel investigation itself was not compromised by its involvement with this dossier. And I think the American people deserve to know whether that whether it was. And most importantly, I think they deserve to know whether that wiretap application was in any way related to the dossier. And if it was, who boy, that's a scandal. I was, but I mean, I would need to point out those are very good questions, but we don't know the answers. There's no evidence at this point that it was used. Because they've right? been asking for those answers okay. for so many months. And the FBI and the De Department of Justice, and the special counsel, everyone's been stonewalling and obstructing and failing to answer those well, questions. Which stonewalling are very and key. obstructing. I mean, here is Christopher Wray. He wasn't appointed by Barack Obama. He was appointed by Donald Trump. I mean, he says this is something that's being investigated by the inspector general. Let's let him decide. And that's a very convenient thing to say when people are trying to find out answers about the use of the
the dossier. It's also worth asking whether the real division in government isn't between Republican and Democrat, but between bureaucracy and people trying to hold it accountable. Catherine, it's interesting. I saw a poll today that indicates that, that opinion is beginning to move against the special counsel's investigation. Uh, people who are either, not so much that they don't want to investigate it, but they don't really care what the result of the investigation is. And, and what I wonder is, to what degree do you feel there's a concerted effort by President Trump, by congressional Republicans to undercut the special counsel, and that perhaps it's having an effect? Well, certainly, I think one of the things we saw today from Ray was an effort to defend and explain the FBI. He talked about it being no finer institution. He, he didn't answer certain questions, but he was there clearly to deliver a message about the institution. And I think also you saw a real division um, among the parties in terms of who was asking what questions. So this concern of is there bias, uh, you know, who are, you know, who, who's working here. You heard from a lot of Republican representatives. And Democrats were really urging him to sort of push back against attacks from President Trump. Judge, your thoughts about that. Are you troubled by the, what seems to be a concerted effort, certainly by the president, a lot of attacks, talks about uh, the FBI's in tatters, bias in the FBI, special uh, counsel? I am troubled by it. I agree with many of the things that Chris Ray said today, which just sounded like plaudituds, but in my view, they are true. This is basically uh, a superb team of people. There's 8,000 FBI agents. We're talking about, uh, we're talking about two or three. But big picture here, Chris, it is very dangerous for defendants, potential defendants, people being investigated, to commence the investigation of the investigators. The government is presumed to be a valid government. It's investigation. Here I am, the libertarian, saying this. It's investigation is presumed to be a valid. This is what defense lawyers do in these high-powered criminal cases attack the morality of the government that is prosecuting them. We should be looking for the truth as to what happened here, not the moral worth of the people doing the investigation. But that's why it is so incumbent upon the FBI to come clear with some of these questions that people have about their involvement with the dossier. I think people do want to I agree believe, with you they on, do, I they agree want with, to believe they can trust the FBI, but they have no reason right I now agree until with you they on get the more dossier, information. But the administration will do irreparable harm if it begins to undermine uh, the FBI because of the political opinions of some of its agents. But Molly does make a point. I mean, it's not just what they were saying to this committee. I mean, Congress does have oversight, yes. and they've been asking for months for some of this information. I mean, I'm not sure I understand why it should be classified or not held to find out whether or not the dossier was used to get a, a FISA warrant to wiretap somebody, a dossier that's largely been discredited now. Chris Ray, if, if that dossier was presented to the FISA court, the director of the FBI will need the FISA court's permission to reveal that. He, he knows how to get that, but he's going to have to do that. He can't legally do that on his own because it is. They've been asking for it for a long time. Yes. Yes, they have.